Okay, so today we're having a look at the Airbus helicopter that's been made freely available for Flight Simulator. So you can see on the, the pre-roll here, it's wonderfully modelled. It's, it's, actually, it's, it's free, that's what I can't quite believe about it, is how good it is. Okay, there's some, some modelling issues with the circular areas of the model. So you can see on the curves it's been simplified somewhat. But otherwise it's actually pretty amazing. So we're on the ground at Booker Airfield, on the edge of the runway. And we're going to go and have a fly around, see how it goes. So I'm going to increase the collective. I think we're just waiting for the engine to come up. Yeah, fabric not engaged. What does that mean? So we're waiting for the speed to come up. There we go. So let's have a fly around. So I will say it's very robotic. You can see I can move the pitch and I'm not getting any yaw happening. Which is quite strange. So I can in increase and decrease the collective and there's no yaw happening as a result. which. And again, moving sideways, you'd expect your, and it's very robotic, moving it around. Anyway, let's go and have a fly around. So yeah, it's, it's very easy to control because it isn't realistic at all. So flying back towards Booker. Should we go and explore a little of the edge of Wickham? Maybe go into the industrial estate. Kind of exposes the scenery a little bit, doesn't it, when you get this close to it? It'd be better to fly somewhere that's got photogrammetry. One of the advantages of it not being realistic, obviously, is that it's quite easy to control.
let's go down into the bottom of Wickham so jump over the wires from the pylon I don't think it actually models wires but we're just being careful let's go down into the bottom of the town Okay, we're down. So yeah, it's okay. It's kind of good fun because it's doesn't really penalise you at all. It's all very robotic and controllable, and you can throw it around crazily almost. And some people are going to say it's great, it's it's really not. But it's an achievement considering they've managed to do this, or the developers have managed to do this, without having a flight model for helicopters at all. And, it, and obviously Microsoft Flight Simulator doesn't have a proper flight model in the same way that X-Plane does. So let's just go back and land at Booker. Have a look at the church on the way by. Skim some rooftops. Okay, let's go and park on the apron over at Booker. So we'll circle in over the field. park up where the the trolley is waiting for an aeroplane to push back so I guess I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the helicopter I might go and remove it because yeah it, it's, it's here and it, it kind of works but it's it's not realistic. Doesn't fly like a helicopter really does. Yeah, it's resolving forces based on the cyclic, but... It's very, very simple. Okay, there we go. I'll stop recording there. So there you go, it's the Airbus H135. You can get it from flightsim.2 on the internet and just put it in a community folder and go and have fun with it. It's probably good for sightseeing, but not for much else, to be honest. Anyway, there you go.